three. Greetings all, and here again, I'm here to give you some worked problems on half life. You see, so we go through. We have this question. This is how your questions will be set on Neko, Jam, and Wask. So the question reads: A sample of radioactive nuclei has a decay constant of 1.36 times 10 to the power minus 4 per second. Calculate its half-life. You see. So you just have to know the formulas to use. You know, I gave you the formulas on the first video. We are in. We derive the equations of half-life. We have the decay constant to be 2.303 we have log of no all over n divided by t this is the first one we also have the other one n equals to no e to the power lambda t and we also have the disintegrating ratio which is equals to no all over n we also have the half life t r to be lean to all over the decay constant and we i think these are the we also these are the common formulas which you have to consider which can solve any half-life question regarding to wask neko and as well as jam so the question is a sample of radioactive nuclei has a decay constant so we are given the decay constant lambda to be 1.36 times 10 to the power minus 4 per second and we are required to find its half-life so go through these questions which of them we think we can use we are required to find it, this decay constant but we are not given the disintegrating ratio the, the disintegration ratio r or n over n is not given so therefore we cannot use this if you use this we are required to find them there are no time no n no no n so we cannot use this. Here we don't have n, we have n, we have n, so we cannot use. So the most appropriate formula is this last one. So we recall from this one, we say from we say from half-life equals to lean 2 divided by the wavelength, or which is the decay constant. So the decay constant now is going to be lean 2 divided by what is the, 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 the decay constant is 1.36 times 10 raised to power minus 4. So if we divide this, we say we have lin 2, lin 2, divided by 1.36 times 10 raised to the power minus 4. What do we have? We have 5096.67. Since half-life, here are the times in seconds, so you're going to be in seconds. So this is the time we are required to find. So the value of it is 5096.67 seconds. So this is the value. So after solving this, let's look at the second one again here. The second example reads a radio a radio active material of mass 80 grams decays to 10.0 grams in a period of six years, we are required to calculate its half-life. Since we are required to calculate its half-life, let's collect our values given. But you have to consider, this is 80 gram the nuclei, this is also 80 gram the nuclei in terms of masses. But you have to know, this is the initial NO. NO is always greater than N. So NO is given as 80.0 grams. And the final n is given at 10.0 grams. And we are given the time t to be 6 years. What are we required to find here is half life. So, since we are required to find half life, look at these questions. We are required to find half life here. We don't have the, 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 the decay constant, so we cannot use this formula. If we consider this again, we don't have the decay constant. We are have to grab this, so we cannot use it. We can use this formula, but it gives us much time. So the easiest way we recall from this part. We also have another formula which we left out. We are in n is going to be t all over t half. I think these formulas will help us to solve. 
You see? So we go from this part. T half is lean two all over lambda. So say, but recall from from two raised to power n is going to be n o all over n. We recall from this part. This two raised to power n is the disintegration ratio. We need n. So for find n, n o is eighty and n is ten. So zero cancel zero. We have two raised to power n equals to eight, which is very simple. We have two raised to power n, but eight is in index form which can be written as 2 raised to power 3. So this 8 can be simplified as 2 raised to power 3. We are in the basis cancel, so we have n to be 3. So having n to be 3, so we are required to find half-life, but we have this other formula. We say but, we also have n to be t all over t half. But we are required to find t half, so we interchange, we say t half, is going to be t all over n. Where is t, which is the time, which is six years, and n is three. So therefore, the half-life of this particle is two years. This is it. So we have again example three here. We have solved two. So question three says, a piece of radio, a piece of radio, a radioactive material which contains 10 to the power 10 atoms, has a half-life of 30 days. Calculate the number of days required for 10 to the power 5 atoms to be left. So here we are required to calculate the time. So what we are given here exactly, let's read the question again. A piece of radioactive material which contains 10 to the power 10 atoms. You know, this is the, if you compare this and this, we can see this one is greater than this. So this is the initial. So we are given the initial of the original value, n0 to be 10 to the power 10, 10, 10 atoms. And we are given the final, which is 10 to the power 5, f, 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 5 atoms. So we are given again the half-life of 30. So we are given t half to be 30 days. You see, and what we are required to calculate is the time. It just seems like to example 2, we are given time, we are not given t half. Yeah, now we are given t half, we are required to find the time. It's the same format, it's the same format, we need to find n from the disintegration ratio. We feel the disintegration ratio, 2 raised to power n equals to n o all over n. So 2 raised to power n will be n o is 10 to the power 10 and n is 10 to the power 5. So we have 2 raised to power n. 10 to the power, since the base are the same, we subtract 10 minus 5 is going to give us 10 raised to the power 5. So in this case, we are required to find n. We introduce log on both sides. So here now, if we take lean, lean on both sides, so n now is going to be log lean, or let's say log 10 raised to the power 5 divided by log 2. This will give us n equals to, let's say we have 5 log 10 5 log 10 divided by log 2 so we have 16.6 so since we have n to be 16.6 but we are not required to find this n approximately 16.60 9, 6. 16.60964. So, but we are not required to find n, we are required to find t. We recall again, we say from, from n equals to t all over t half. We are required to find t. So, t now is going to be n t half. So, t is going to be n now is given as 16.6096 times. What is t half? t half is 30 days. So if we multiply 16.6096 times 30, we have it to be 498, 498 days, you see. So this is the time it takes. The, we, we are required to calculate the number of days that we require for these atoms to be left out. So the number of days required will be 498 days. This is the question. Now, if we consider again, calculate this again. The question says, 
a sample of radio a sample of radio active element with we are given TF two minutes a half life to be two minutes initially contains 60 times 10 to the power 6 six atoms if you compare this and this we can know this is greater than this though definitely and O is going to be the initial, which is 60 times 10 to the power 6, 6, 6 atoms. And we are given N to be 7.5 times 10 to the power 6 atoms. But we are required to calculate the time it's required to take for the R. So we are required to calculate T, T is not given. So it's the same thing. We use the disintegration ratio. 2 per N it will be NO all over N. So the disintegration ratio is going to be NO is... 60 times 10 to the power 6 and n will be 7.5 times 10 to the power 6. This will cancel. So 2 per n will be. So if we divide 60, if we divide 60 divided by 7.5, we have 8, which can as well be written as 2 raised by 3 and n 2 cancel 2, so n equals to 3. Now we say now we have n equals to t all over t half. We are in, we are required to calculate the time t. If we cross multiply, t will be n t half. So the time is taken to require n is 3, and we have the half life to be 2 minutes. Therefore, t is going to be 6 minutes. So, so far, so good. These four problems I have solved, I think they are enough for you to tackle any worst question with respect to the derivations I have made on the previous video. Thank you all. Stay blessed.